what is up YouTube? Here I have my Westinghouse CA2 with uh, rusted terminal screws. And what I am planning to do is I got some of this. I went on Yahoo Answers and I said to use this stuff. It has the stuff in the back warnings that all the stuff always says this is known to cause cancer in California. I don't know why it says that, but I, everything seems to say it causes cancer in California. But what I'm now going to do is I have this cup here, and tomorrow I'm going to put the screws in some CLR, shaking it up, and I'm going to spray them. Ooh, the knob squared back. I'm going to just spray it all over. Got it in my hair. That's why I'm doing it in my bathtub. It has a really oily smell to it. Yeah. It has a very strong oil odor to it. Put that off to the side. Kind of looks like pee. I guess I'll let that sit overnight. And then tomorrow in the morning, I will come back and try to take the screws out again. Is, I don't think I mentioned this before. In that one right there, I broke a screwdriver trying to get the screws out. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching this stuff, YouTube. It says on the can to let it sit for a few minutes, but I'm just going to let this one sit overnight because I had WD-40, that brand, and I've sprayed it in the terminal wells, and it would seep through. See the screws there? So that means that it's not rusted shut, it's just extremely tight, and I put WD-40 on every day for about two weeks, and it still does nothing, so I'm gonna, hopefully this one will work better. So yeah. What is up, YouTube? Here it is in the morning. And I'm going to try to get the screws off now. Okay, so I have uh, gloves on, as you can tell. I don't want to get the stuff on my hands. So I'm just putting the screwdriver in the hole here. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. No, I might need to give this a tap with a hammer. Yeah. Should take this into my garage and give it a tap with a hammer to try and also get this. But let me hold this upright. Oh, this is really heavy. So do this one hand. Um. see the rotation is a kilowatt hour here. Now my dog is whining. Chelsea has the best. But its rotation is 562 and one half. Okay YouTube, here I am. I'm going to give this a slight tap with a hammer. Let me just set this down. Oh, look at that groundbreaking. I'm giving it a twist. Did you hear that, people? It's a good sound. Can you see that? I don't know. Hmm. Taking out the screw here. Good, because I never thought I'd get these out of this one. I guess that stuff really doesn't work. OK, 
Okay, now I'm gonna do that. Let me turn on my phone. No, you can't. You can see that. There. I'm gonna do that for the rest. Look at that, YouTube. If you can see that. I'm bending these screwdrivers here. This. I don't know why this one came out right here, as you can see. It's twisting out. I don't know if you can see it moving. Yeah. But these ones are really ridiculous. I got out the little terminal screws here. The voltage potential. Here people, so I found out if you take these screwdriver, you know screwdriver heads, and you, are, you can come off and take a ratchet size. Fits on perfectly. So I was like, oh yeah, so I'm going to definitely get these screws out. And then I went to go get my ratchet. And it does not fit. So that's just horrible. What is up YouTube again? I've just been looking for the adapter to fit that to that. And I've just been finding these random pieces around. And it's kind of a story. So I have a ratchet exactly designed for this type of hole. And I was looking around and on the shelf behind my SPA01 meter, there was a ratchet that looked like the handle of this. And I was like, oh, thank God. And then I looked at it, and it was one of these with the tiny, and then it just had a gigantic fat head at the end. I was like, why? So I'm going to just try to find it. Oh, well, people, see that? The last terminal screw. Let me, see what, let me see what time it is. Um, yeah, so it's about a little hour later. And finally, this just came out. It's a little stripped. But I found a tiny little ratchet that fits that. And yeah. So I'm just going to let those marinate in there for about maybe 10 more minutes. Then I'll take them out and um, brush them with a old toothbrush. Okay, people. This stuff, I don't know. People always say it works. So that's why I was using it, but I guess that other stuff that I got. Um, who said that? Here. This stuff. If you needed this screws loose, get this, because I seriously thought that those were never coming out. But they did it in one night, so that's really impressive. So I've got here, I got a few cotton swabs and some disinfecting wipes. I'm going to clean up the grease on the meter. Just like that. See that? All this um, crud stuff. I think these are uh, really rusty because in that abandoned factory there is a hole in the wall. And this meter was sitting right near that hole. Um, a lot of them were smashed. If you see in the video on my, um, what's that called? My, uh, YouTube channel video. That is the, uh, place where I got these all. So I guess I'm gonna have to put the camera down and do a lot of detailing. Okay, YouTube, I'm going to begin disassembling the meter here to um, do a complete restore on this one. I felt that give a little resistance. I was like, oh no, not again. Oh, that water sound. I have the uh, glass globe in the sink to uh, clean it up. But as you can see here, the oil went all the way through. And it ran up the cables, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a hair dryer and uh, blow dry this meter. There goes the Alnico magnets. And as you can see here, let me do a spin here. This meter still has a good bearing. Get all those good quality material. Okay, now I'm starting to wind up a kilowatt hour, so put that in reverse. Yeah, 
this is gonna be like a 10 minute series. Okay, YouTube, I just decided to do this little part here. I have the entire meter disassembled. And, uh, meter YouTube. Today, I have this all day. I've been doing this all day. Series. I just need to put back the terminal screws. And this meter, I would say, would be ready to run. As you can see, I've done a complete restore. I've kind of filed down the edges, or I think the uh, steel wool um, terminals look pretty clean. So uh, I'm going to put them back and then test it. Well, he's up again. As you can see, I cleaned up the floor here, and I also cleaned up this meter. Look at that. I'll put a thing in the beginning of what it looked like when I got it from the factory. But I cleaned up the terminal cover. Inside, let's do a little test here. So, as you can see, so one to two. Not getting any connections. Do that to the voltage potential. No touching. Voltage to voltage. Voltage return to voltage input getting some resistance there, so that's good. Same with the other one. Good, and then the big test. Is current going through the meter? Yes, it is. Do the same for the other side. This meter passes the test. I'll do a next video of a complete description. Alright people, I have this on the utility pole in my room. And let's give it a load. Here it goes, it's spinning away. Very nice meter. Has two discs to it. Good Westinghouse quality. These are the specifications. I don't know if that is a three phase wire or a meter because I have it on single phase right now and it only fits a single phase wiring configuration. So I don't know how it could be a polyphase one. Is it two discs? They have these very nice big um, Alnico magnets to them. They're a nice antique touch to these meters. Um, this one does not have a magnetic bearing. It has a um, standard um, ball bearing. So when I took it apart, it had this tiny little, tiny BB, and I almost lost it. Multiply by 100. Um, I know I don't have a seal on this meter, so I'm going to take off the, um, terminal, that's what it looks like. I do like the, uh, font on the, um, main plate. So, uh, thanks for watching.